I'll be going through all of the details around the Genius Yield ISPO, or at least an update of where we are at. This did start a little bit late in 2021, and we're halfway through the ISPO at the moment. And there may be some windows of opportunity where you can participate still in the ecosystem, but you gotta be quick to be able to get in there, and it's uh, quite saturated at the moment. But I'll take you through all those details right up in this video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get hey everyone, I've got a whole bunch of slides here that we're gonna go through so we can learn a little bit more about what's happening with the Genius Yield ISPO. I'm Peter Beery, and if this is your first time here, please consider giving me that thumbs up, click subscribe, and click on the notification bell and you hear more great Cardano related content from me real soon. Now, like I said, I have all these slides here all ready to go. And before I get into anything, I'd just like to let anyone, everyone know that I am actually a Genius Yield Ambassador. So what I say may be a little bit biased, but I absolutely love this project before I became an ambassador. Just thought might as well support the project along the way as well. So uh, there are a whole bunch of other ambassadors in the, in the network as well. And congratulations to all those that made it through the ambassador program. Now, first off, if you haven't heard of Genius Yield, I did an overview video back in early December that uh, talks about the platform in general and the ISPO. But then also I did an interview in early February uh, with Bart and Lars that talks all about how the Genius Yield works, the DEX itself and its AI auto optimizer in there as well. So all those different things that make Genius Yield quite unique and stand out in the Cardano ecosystem. So let's have a quick recap and an overview of the ISPO details in general. So the Genius Yield team are giving out 10 million GENS tokens that will power their DEX and act as a governance token for the decentralized exchange. It did start back in December, mid-December last year, and will go through to mid-year in June June 15th when it will end. So that's 36 epochs or six months in general and distribute out all their tokens. Now, if you wanted to know how much you could potentially earn, you could use their little ISPO calculator, add in how much ADA you have to delegate to one of these stake pools, and then use the slider here to work out how many epochs you can delegate for. Of course, because we're halfway through the process now, you can only slide it along half the way, which means you miss out on all of these extra bonus bonuses, unfortunately, if you haven't been in this particular process. So you miss out on those bonus extra gens tokens and the NFTs that come along with it, unless you were delegating in gens for a state pool, but we'll talk about that in a moment. So as you can see here, all the state pools except for gens for are completely saturated. So we've got the 68.8 uh, million ADA in these pools, roughly uh, all, almost all the same really, but that full top level saturation level is 68.2 million ADA. So anything above that won't be earning the rewards from these pools. So you have to check when you delegate it. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So you can see the dates here, and these are key dates that you need to take note of. So you need to reference this with when you actually delegate to, your st to the particular state pools. So Gen 1, for example, was saturated on the 14th of February, 2022. So if you delegated before that date, you are still eligible for the Gen's tokens. If you delegated to this pool after that date and the pool has been saturated, completely saturated, then you won't earn any gens tokens so check when you actually have delegated to this particular pool and make sure you had delegated before that particular date if you delegated after that date and you expect to get gens tokens you won't because their calculators will look at when you delegated realize that you delegated after the saturation point and you won't get any gens tokens Furthermore, you won't get any ADA rewards, so you lose out all, all ways. So that's, that, that's a big deterrent to stop people from delegating to these particular stake pools because the Gen, uh, Genius Yield team actually lose ADA rewards as that saturation goes over that particular point. So here's my note about that as well. So any added ADA after that current saturation level of 68.2 million ADA will not be calculated in the Genius Yield rewards. So please make sure you check that and make sure you've got that uh, that limit and that you have your ADA added in there. And this is how you do it. So I'll just open up uh, a particular website here called Cardano Scan, and it will give you your delegation history. 
So for example, if you're using CC Vault or if you're using your Roy, any wallet that you're using to delegate, you can copy your receiving address here and you can copy that and then you go over to Cardano Scan. It's a great little uh, explorer, Cardano Explorer, where you can see everything that is in uh, the blockchain itself. So at the top here, I can paste in my receiving address and this will pull up my wallet and I can track back and see exactly the activity on my wallet. And you can see my balance there. You can see exactly how much I'm delegating to this pool. But let's go a little bit further down. Okay, it's not there. Let's go here. Click on stake control key and I'll click on that and I'll go down here. And this is my delegation history. So I can actually see when and what stake pools I've delegated to. So if you have a look here, you can see that I delegated to Meld for a bit. Then I moved over to Malu pool. Maolun, Maolun. I'm sorry, Linda. I will. I promise I will one day get the pronunciation of this right. I know you've told me many times, but each time I look at it again, I get it wrong. Anyway, um, I delegated that for MinSwap, and then I moved moved over to Maladex to earn some of those Mal tokens, and then of course Genius Yield here. So I'm moving around to different ISPOs with this wallet. Now, if you look at the delegation date here, you can see that I've delegated, this is in US time formats. Why can't we use like the global time format? Anyway, you can see here that I've delegated on the 15th of December and that was before that epoch started. So before epoch um, uh, 309. So I've got uh, in just before the whole ISPO started. So that's, that's probably the ideal date that you could delegate to a particular state pool um, for this uh, genius yield thing. So that's, that's the particular date there that I've delegated to. And if you check that saturation level again, as long as you're before those dates, you're in. Your rewards are being calculated on those particular stake pools. So you're good. But what happens if you delegate it after? You don't get those rewards. So please check. If you delegate it after, you might as well just move to another stake pool and earn rewards elsewhere because you aren't earning anything. Uh, delegate to another ISPO, whether it's AADA or whatever it might be, or uh, Metadex, for example. They're two great, uh, fantastic um, ISPOs that are happening at the moment. Uh, actually, I think AADA is finishing up as well. So check out what's active and you can see a link in the top right hand corner there uh, to uh, the latest ISPOs that I've been researching and diving into. So let's get back to the slides here. Now where was I? So that's checking your uh, particular uh, delegation history so you know exactly when you've delegated. So here now with the Gens 4 pool, now I, I, you did see that a little bit early before. Now they've been deactivated and there still is 9.9 .9 million ADA delegated to that particular pool. And that's not good because Gens 4 pool had an issue where the keys, the signing keys, uh, the, the pool keys were overwritten and they were essentially lost. And when the pool keys are lost, it means you can't sign and verify that uh, it is my block that's being uh, produced from this particular pool. So that functionality is gone. And uh, Andrew Westberg managed to work that one out for the Genius Yield team. But because of that, they had to shut down the Gens 4 pool. They managed to get their uh, initial pledge out of the pool as well, uh, thankfully. But anyone that is delegating to that pool won't be earning Gens tokens and won't be earning any ADA as well. So, so if you didn't get the message, you do need to move out your ADA from Gens 4 now because you won't be earning anything at all. But the team have said that you can move it to one of the other Gens pools and you've still earned that bonus reward. So that, that bonus for delegating for a long period of time, that had an extra million Gens tokens that were available for people that were delegating for the full length of the ISPO. So if you're one of those early adopters and you manage to get to the Gens four pool at an early date, you can move it to one of the other Gens pools. You won't earn the extra Gens tokens, but you will still be eligible for that reward, extra bonus reward period. I'll put a link down below to remind you about the bonus Gens tokens and that uh, delegation length history so that you know exactly how that actually works. And uh, here you can see that you're still eligible for it unless you move to another pool and then decide to move back. So you, you will negate that to extra bonus rewards if you've moved to another pool already. So just to be clear, if you're delegating to one of the saturated pools, after the saturation date, you need to move to another pool so you can maximize your return on ADA 
or other token from another ICPO. If you delegated to the Gens4 pool and you haven't moved your ADA yet, you need to move it. You have a choice. You either move it to an, another Gens pool where you won't be earning Gens tokens, but you will be earning the reward bonus tokens, or you can move it to another ISPO. So there are your options. And hopefully I've made that really clear and that anyone that is still delegating to the uh, Gens4 pool will get the message and will move it out so that they can earn those extra bonuses. So if you are one of the fortunate ones that did get to uh, delegate to the uh, various state pools at before the saturation levels i think there's about twelve thousand or so wallets that are delegated you can check your awards here and i've been getting questions about how on earth do i actually do this they type in their address and they're not getting any information now oh, let me just take you through that process so i'll go through that wallet again so let me just pull up my cc vault wallet and i'll copy my receiving address so i'll click on receive copy my receiving address I'll go back to Cardano scan and I'll paste in my address in that top search bar there. So I can click on search and that takes me to my uh, overview page of that particular address. Now this here, that's your control state key, but it's not this one here, not the one at the top, it's the Betch32 version that starts with stake, the stake one. So that will, uh, that's a, a clear indicator that this is a stake address. So copy that address and then go over to the Genius Yield dashboard where you can now paste that in. If you click on this little question mark, it will give you a little bit of an instruction there, but a lot of people are still being confused about it. So that's the process there for you now. So now you've got that state key there. You can click on it, show rewards, and it will calculate and show you exactly how many gents tokens you have earned during the ISPO. So at the end of this insight, we're halfway through the ISPO at the moment. We can see down here we're at 66% of the way through. I may, I may or may not hit a thousand gens tokens. Maybe, maybe not. Um, if if I don't, I'll just trade my way in eventually when everyone gets their gens tokens and just get that little boost so I can round it off to a thousand. It'll be really annoying if that comes out as 998. Um, gen tokens. I'll be really annoyed. Oh, mess around my head, I think. Uh, but here you can see the history of the actual ADA that's been staked. So you can see this massive drop down here as the Sunday swap ISO started and uh, went through the process. And then when people started claiming their tokens, or well, not claiming their tokens, but the ISPO ended and people started moving off to Genius Yield after that. So it's a, it's a big uh, jump there after people were looking for new opportunities to actually delegate and earn some more, more uh, particular tokens in the ecosystem. Now, if there is another really big ISPO that is out that is competing against Genius Yield, you will see this number drop down again. And this is where you as a delegate could have an opportunity to jump in but you may want to jump into the other ISPO as well. So here, if we if we know that there's another big ISPO launching, it means this number of delegates will drop as well. Highly likely that will drop. You can see the history here that it dropped for the Sunday swap one. So it may also drop for another ISPO that might be launching. So we just got to keep an eye out of exactly what's happening. Then we can have a look at the various state pools here. Watch this number, if it ever drops below that 68.2 million ADA, you'll be able to jump in and delegate to the pool and fill up that spot. But of course, like I said, anyone that's over that won't be eligible for the award. So you have to be on the ball at the end of an epoch, just before the end of it. If you notice that this number is below saturation, delegate because you'll be able to get in and earn some of those extra awards. So that's your only opportunity if you haven't gotten in for this ISPO. So check that out. Make sure you keep an eye on the saturation level and you'll be able to get in and delegate to earn those GENS tokens. Now for all those users that didn't get into ISPO and don't think they can watch and monitor every single epoch to see if there's an opportunity to jump in, there is this public pre-sale and it's uh, to be announced or to be con uh, confirmed. So we don't know exactly when or what the details around that might be, but we can see that uh, token supply has a token allocation to the pre-public sale is 3 million GENS tokens. So we may be able to actually get in and purchase some GENS tokens at that point in time. Now, when that happens and when there are more details around it, 
and if the public can actually get in and purchase those tokens i will let you know so please subscribe to the channel and i'll keep you informed as much as possible for this particular token sale this future token sale when it comes along now there is one more opportunity and it hasn't really been spoken about much and that is with genius x so Genius X is Genius Yields Accelerator program where they're picking up projects all throughout the Cardano ecosystem, taking them through their accelerator program, uh, taking a cut or percentage of the actual project itself. So they uh, own a little a small portion of it, but then use all of their resources, connections and everything else to push the projects through their ecosystem. Now there is talk about the Gen X token as well. So there'll be another opportunity to actually earn some bonus tokens off this new ecosystem that the team are creating. This is still really early days. They do have a Discord channel that talks all about it as well. So that's uh, early initial conversations around that. It may be another ISPO, it may be a token sale. We don't quite know yet, but check out the Discord. Again, all the links down below. So if you missed out on Genius Yield, maybe look out for genius x i'm looking forward to it and everything that this team is bringing out it's definitely a stellar and star studded team so i'm really looking forward to whatever genius yield are producing and putting out if you haven't seen the genius yield video about the uh, demo of the interface and what things will look like again i'll put links down below for you where you can check out lars giving a little video demonstration of the platform itself that's it for me for this video if you really enjoyed this type of content please consider giving me a thumbs up click subscribe and click on the notification bell and you hear more great Kadana related content from me soon. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.